This episode is sponsored by Stitch Fix and by ExpressVPN. As you're aware, the only thing happening right now in the world is COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much all we're going to be talking about today, much like our previous several videos, <laughs> all of which have been demonetized. Yeah, sorry. Uh, in case you've been completely cut off from society and or have missed uh, our recent videos, including our special live edition of News Dump yesterday, uh, here's the current situation. Tom Hanks has it, his wife has it, a player for the Utah Jazz has it and spent most of last week jokingly touching everything in sight before testing positive. Every sports league is suspended. Schools everywhere are closed. Trump banned all travel from Europe for 30 days. Justin Trudeau's wife has it, and he probably does too. Jair Bolsonaro, the president of Brazil, may or may not have it, but he probably does. And yeah. also Trump probably has it since he's spent a hilariously large amount of time with other people who either have it or have been around people who do. Yeah, in the last two hours, it was confirmed that another attempt of Mar-a-Lago this past weekend was tested positive for it. Uh, Ted Cruz took himself out of quarantine and, and then went right back immediately in. Immediately had to go right back in because uh, he found out he hung out with a, a separate person. The mayor of Miami has it. Yep. Uh, it's it's crazy. Uh it's crazy. Now, despite the sudden surge in proactive measures to contain the spread of the disease, no one has any clue how many people in the U.S. are actually infected because there aren't enough test kits. Uh, the WHO offered to give us a bunch of them a few weeks ago, but our government said no. No, we got No this. thanks. Instead, the CDC got to work on their own test, which at this point uh, there also aren't nearly enough of. But hopefully that changes soon. Uh, right now, all we've got are estimates like the state of Ohio saying there's probably... 100,000 people uh, either infected or going to be infected overall. In the state of Ohio. In the state of Ohio. Yeah. Uh, so you do a little bit of math, and that means around 2.7 million people total in the U.S. That's probably conservative as well. Yeah. Another conservative thing uh, with more math is a conservative death rate. Uh, if you just do 2%, that is 56,000 deaths, uh, assuming the disease doesn't spread, which it will. So, um, I don't know, not really useful yeah. Are there any other projections to take into account? Okay, so according to the New York Times, the CDC actually ran the numbers on a conference call last month, and the worst case scenario that they calculated said between 160 million and 214 million people nationwide could get infected, and between 200,000 and 1.7 million people could die. Finally, I can get that ranch house that the boomers have been sitting on. A lot of, uh, a lot of extra room to breathe. Uh, by the way, it was, twi it was trending on Twitter uh, today. Uh, yesterday, someone brought it up and then got banned from Twitter. Boomer for, remover. The yeah. boomer remover is the uh, hashtag going around with the youths. It is the boomer remover. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not cool. It's actually, this is very bad. Yeah, this is bad. This yeah. is, this, we joke, but uh, it's yeah. bad. But on the bright side, China, where this all began, it seems like they're finally seeing their numbers of new cases drop off significantly. Mm -hmm. they're, they're closing up hospitals. Things seem to have flattened now, which is good. All it took was shutting down the entire country for a month and a half. So <laughs> there you go. I'm sure we'll do that just as they did. Yeah. Anyway, it seems pretty bad all around, but I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We have no control over any of this. None yeah. of us do. The uh, China, they just closed their the last temporary hospital. Yeah. And they had a very... Uh, it, hope, mask off. Yeah, <laughs> them taking probably taking their masks off and waving, and I was like, that inspires a bit of hope if I didn't live in the United States of America where yeah. we've not taken this seriously for weeks. And also, uh, typically, Americans are, let's say, don't trust the government, don't listen to the government, uh, fly by the seat of their own pants, are going to do whatever the fuck they want to do. So, yeah. As for how the Trump administration is uh, handling this whole thing, well, here's a fun story. Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, he's obviously one of Trump's senior advisors on a variety of topics that he has no ex expertise in. Uh, but thankfully, Jared knows people who do have expertise, like his brother's wife's father, who is an ER doctor. Cool. Okay, cool. So, yeah, naturally, Jared's solution to the COVID-19 pandemic involved asking his brother's wife's dad to go make a post in a private Facebook group for doctors asking for suggestions. And a little bit of crowdsourcing. <sighs> oh, man, the government at work. You love to see it. Get my brother's sister, bro brother's wife's father on the line. This is, as we've said before with Trump running our government, this is very reminiscent of when we worked in uh, an actual business yeah. where... Your role is important because you know people. Yeah. You can delegate uh It's not because problems. you're good at it or uh, should be there. It's you have the Rolodex. You know, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the post read, 
If you were in charge of federal response to the pandemic, <laughs> hypothetical. Yeah, hypothetical situation here. What would your recommendation be? Please, only serious responses. I have direct channel to person now in charge at White House. This reads like a Reddit AMA. Yeah. Or like a ask anything. Hey, Reddit, what would you do if you were in charge of dealing with a national yeah. pandemic? Anyway, it sounds, it sounds like there were actually a lot of good responses, which have been passed on to Jared and the White House, I guess. Which, fine, whatever. But what a fucking dumb lazy way to handle a situation like this. There are actual specialized medical organizations, dozens of them, with the, the expertise and the knowledge to deal with this. And your, your plan is just having some emergency room doctor in your family circle crowdsource that shit on fucking Facebook. It's yeah. insane. You would assume that uh, the highest levels of government would act, have access yeah. to the expertise of doctors from around the country, from the, various universities. The doctors would love to talk to you. Yes. They they are waiting for your call. Mm -hmm. And no, you're going on fucking Facebook. Yeah. God damn it. Anyways, uh, of Doesn't course. Doesn't inspire much hope. No, it's the opposite, in no. fact. Uh, this uh, sudden wave of reasons to worry, uh, yeah, after weeks of being told that this was no concern or that it was even in a hoax, hmm. it has led to absolute chaos at supermarkets across the United States. And now there's no toilet paper or food anywhere. Whoops. Guess I'll die then. Missed your chance? <laughs> Too bad. But your neighbor probably has an entire guest bathroom set up to store toilet paper and soup cans, so uh, just go ask them if they can spare any. Yeah. Oh, you need soup? Yeah, I got enough soup to last me 60,000 years. No, pe people are so, like, chaotic right now that there will be many stand-your-ground laws enforced. Oh, God, why are why is this random person coming to our door? Yeah. They must have the virus, and it's taken over their brain, and they're trying to spread it. Ba-boom. Well, Alex Jones, who we'll get to in a second, yeah. he actually, he was speaking some sense when he was trying to s sell his uh, food buckets. He yeah. was like, look, you're going to want more than you need, because the last thing you want in a crisis situation, is hungry neighbors. Mm -hmm. You want your neighbors just as well fed as you. Yeah. So and and we'll get to Alex yeah. Jones. Uh, anyways, the other tip here. Yeah, hot tip. Probably if you live in an area where this is available to you, yeah. like Los Angeles. Yeah. You just go to your local Asian supermarket. Or like Salvador and Guatemala and Mexican yeah, supermarket. Because as we all know, a lot of hoarders are also racist. Yeah. <laughs> and Asian markets, they haven't been hit nearly as hard. Yeah, people are avoiding them, and uh, I mean, personally, I love shopping at Korean and Japanese supermarkets. Mm -hmm. They are, uh, there's just so many fun products. You, you'll be shocked at how many types of kimchi there can possibly exist. Mm -hmm. Dozens, an entire fucking wall of them. And it's delicious. Different types of kimchi, aged at different lengths. And they're all delicious, that's mm -hmm. right. Now, of course, as we've been saying for a long time now, you really don't need all that toilet paper to begin with. There is another way. Now, unlike... Most of the savages here in the United States, much of the rest of the world, long ago, embraced bidets, which get that poo out of your doo-doo ass using the magic of water. Yeah. You just need, I don't know, one or two squares of TP at the end to dry yourself off. Or if you've got an electronic bidet with a nice hot fan built in, <laughs> you don't need any toilet paper at all. Mm. You're all set. Mm -hmm. the bidets have been increasing in popularity here over the past few years, but they've mostly remained a niche product. But now, maybe... Big bidet's big moment. Yeah. It turns out, once again, we have predicted the future. Because according to Business Insider, quote, bidet sales are soaring as the coronavirus causes toilet paper panic buying frenzies around the world. Appliance company Brondell said they've been selling about 1,000 units per day for the past few days, which they say is an exponential increase compared to the usual sales. And multiple other bidet, bidet companies, they reported similar spikes in sales. Brondell's president said, quote, as the toilet paper wars have raged on, we've seen a large and vocal community of passionate bidet advocates stepping up to promote the benefits and hygiene of washing with water. Is he talking about us? You're welcome. You, you are know, welcome. You know, a great way to pay us back for our advocacy. Send us be, one of those really nice ones. Yeah, send us a, send us a bidet. Uh, we'll, we'll do some ads for you. Maybe. You know, you want, you want help with your bidet business? You know where to come. Yeah. Hey, bio bidet. Any of you companies. My seat heater doesn't work on my bidet anymore. Send me another one. Now, of course, in addition to practical solutions like purchasing a bidet, the coronavirus has given rise to impractical solutions peddled by grifters mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, Alex Jones, who has had a bit of a rough patch in recent years after having his shows banned from most platforms. Well, he clearly saw the threat of a pandemic as a great opportunity for the InfoWars store. For one thing, they sell all sorts of survival products like dried food in case of food shortages, but they also sell a huge variety of 
health and wellness products,、mm-hmm. including a fluoride-free toothpaste infused with nano silver, which Jones claims kills the coronavirus, but cool. doesn't clean your teeth because it doesn't have fluoride in it. That's not what this is for. Quote. The patented nano silver we have, the Pentagon has come out and documented it. Homeland Security has said this stuff kills the whole SARS Corona family at point blank range. <laughs> the shotgun blast to the face, yeah, to it, your face. It, you stick two barrels of this toothpaste right down the disease's fucking nose. There's nothing left. Not only does it die, it dies a painful death. They're gonna need to scrape it off the ass. Torture the coronavirus with my toothpaste. Yeah. Now that's obviously bullshit. And New York Attorney General Latita James has ordered Jones to stop making those claims. Uh, also, in、uh, unrelated Alex Jones news, he got a DUI this week. But in typical Alex Jones fashion, he's calling this all a big setup and saying that the tiny bottle of sake he drank couldn't have possibly set off that breathalyzer. As he said on his show the following day, "Quote: I'm not giving the globalists power. I'm not drinking a damn drop of alcohol again. I'm not accusing people of something. But man, dude, I didn't even get a buzz in the Japanese restaurant eating sushi with my wife, so I'm suspicious." It would have been better if he just claimed that、uh, he, you know, his friends down at Home Stand, Homeland Security and the CDC told him that alcohol kills all germs、yeah. and you got to get it down your throat so you can kill the coronavirus. And I was just doing my part to save the world, officer. I'm sorry. Also,、yeah. it's my liver's fault. It brews bread. Yeah, come on, Alex. Let's see. I got a self-brewing prostate. Yeah, auto brewery syndrome.、Yeah. Get out of jail free card. Yeah.、Uh, he also said, "I'm empowered by freedom." I have to take depressants like alcohol to suppress how empowered I am because I'm into freedom.、Mm. I'm a human being, man. I'm a pioneer. I'm a father. I like to fight. I like to eat enchiladas. I like to cruise around in a boat. I like to fly around in helicopters. I like to kick tyrants' ass politically. So that's where I stand, and they're probably going to drop the case. <laughs> Can't go to court if the coronavirus has everything shut down. So cool. Anyway,、yeah. um, meanwhile, the grifters of the religious right wing—they're also pouncing on the opportunity to make some. Quick money off this pandemic. A televangelist, Jim Backer, who you probably recognize from various Vic Berger、uh, video compilations,、uh, he sells a silver solution、uh, that he claims kills the coronavirus. But、um, you know, not long after making that claim, the state of Missouri, where I guess he's based,、uh, they told him to please cut that shit out.、Mm-hmm. You, do not make that claim, sir. Missouri, by the way, that's where Kansas City is. But I thought Kansas. <laughs> it...、uh, there, there's also Kenneth Copeland, a televangelist you may recognize from last summer when he looked like an absolute lunatic defending his lavish jet-setting lifestyle to a reporter who just simply asked him about it. <laughs> yeah, he lost his mind.、Uh, he hasn't made any claims about stuff from his merch store curing coronavirus, but he has, however, reached through the TV and healed all of his viewers of yeah, coronavirus. It's that easy.、Yeah. It's very, very nice of him. Yeah. Not sure why no one else thought of this. The laying of hands. Yes. It's it's、uh, you know the cure is old as time. You know what sucks though is、uh, I think it, I I think Joel Osteen finally canceled church service this oh, week. Oh, good.、Uh, which is a bummer because some of these guys、great. aren't. We need to get all of these religious nuts together to pray. Prayed away, all together, touching hands, doing. Yeah, it'll be like the scene in Kingsman, except completely silent. And, yeah,、uh, no、one knows that. <laughs> just people dropping like flies. <laughs> anyway, speaking of unconventional cures, Shaggy Two Dope of Insane Clown Posse, he offered up his own solution, a solution for the juggalos. Yeah, pick up a handful of dirty snow, and then you just shake it, get all the rocks out. You gotta make sure yeah, the rocks get the、gone. rocks out, and then you eat it. Yeah,、uh, because of that, your immune system is now powerful enough to withstand anything. Thank you, Shaggy. Yeah, a lot of people can't afford the treatment, so、yeah. that's why Michigan's our healthiest state. That's right. Plenty of dirt snow. <laughs> Anyways,、uh, let's check in on、uh, some other countries and how they're doing. Wait, did you do the uh, uh, Geraldo one or the Joe Rogan one? Oh God, yeah. There's a lot of fucking、uh, Joe Rogan. Like, literally kept asking this doctor、uh, or scientist. But what about saunas? I heard if you breathe in hot air, the hot air will kill、yeah. it. And the guy's like, "No, you don't understand. Your body regulates temperature. It's、yeah. it's, it's why your lungs don't freeze、yeah. in you know sub freezing temperatures." And he's like, "But I heard." And he's no joke, please. Yeah, I mean, Rogan was at least he at least gave that guy a platform. But yeah, but he's also one of the dumbest fucking people. On the face. Hey,、uh, listen. You said it. I didn't say it. He、anything. knows a lot about that, MMA、uh, and stand-up comedy. I think it's a great、comedy. podcast. Very entertaining. He、Again. has he has subjects that he's knowledgeable on. He has a lot of subjects he's not. Great. Now he's going to tell Jamie to pull up this episode and、pull、hear you talking <laughs> talking shit about I mean, it. I, I would be honored. And I forget what Geraldo's is. I think Geraldo just shared some fucking bullshit that's、yeah. going around on Facebook saying if you just. Make sure to sip water every like thirty seconds. It's impossible to get it because it washes the virus down into your stomach. Your stomach acid kills the virus. 
I don't see what the big deal is. Just drink water. Make sure your mouth doesn't get dry. This man is a professional journalist for like 50 years, and yeah. he's spreading like Facebook mom bullshit. Yeah. God damn it. Okay, but back to how other countries. Yeah. Are so other countries. Let's let's step away from America. So over in Wuhan, China, the epicenter of the outbreak, a British Mr. Bean impersonator who visited the city in January for some reason, and then for some other reason chose not to leave when he had the chance. Uh, he's now apparently earning a living making propaganda videos for the Chinese government. <laughs> um, I mean, this is a real once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a Mr. Bean impersonator. Yeah, he has really, a platform. really doesn't get any better than this. So, yeah. I, I mean, get paid, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but it is super weird seeing this Chinese knockoff version of a beloved comedy character parroting government talking points in vlog form. He's like, wow, the Chinese government really has gone above and beyond. I don't know how anyone can criticize the Chinese government right now. Yeah, there was like a man. I wonder if those like uh, like pop star singers and YouTubers that like moved there to work for the government are doing these videos too. I haven't kept up on them, but uh, yeah, money talks, I guess. I guess. Uh, over in Egypt, where the number of cases remains low for now, one of their news programs last week decided to do what no other news program has done and actually interview the virus itself. <laughs> To see what the virus has to say about yeah. all this. Why has no one thought of this? Yeah. The virus, uh, which looks a lot like a guy in a Hellraiser mask that's been painted green, mm. apparently tried to downplay everyone's concerns. Uh, and according to translations that we've seen, uh, it says that everyone's being way too paranoid about this. And if you wash your hands, you're probably fr- fine. So, and the virus said it. So from yeah. his words, but to our ears. But doesn't that seem like something you like? the virus wants you to think? That's what I would assume, yes. Why are we taking virus this. advice from the virus? Yeah, I feel like people would watch this and do the opposite. Also, the virus, it's a man. Yeah. So there you go. The virus is a man. Mm-hmm. So there's, uh, that, that's some coronavirus news. We have more coronavirus news coming up in the headlines, because again, it's the only thing that's happening in the entire Tom world. Tom Hanks did an update. He said they're still under quarantine. They're following He'll orders. be fine. He's rich. Yeah, yeah Don't yeah. worry about rich people. No, no. They're fine. They're all going to be fine. Unless they're complete fucking morons or extremely ill. But and, uh, and Trump had, had, well, he had admitted that he might might get tested. Trump has it. Yeah, he definitely has it. He has it. And uh, the best part is that, like, if he gets tested, which he probably won't, it's going to come back negative regardless. Yeah, you're never going to hear about Despite it. Despite everyone that he's come in contact with for the past two weeks randomly getting it. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, before the headlines, <laughs> uh, this episode is sponsored by Stitch Fix. Mm-hmm. Personal style is like a fingerprint. Everyone has their own. Whatever your style, the expert stylists at Stitch Fix are ready to help you express yourself. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that delivers your favorite clothing brands right to your door. And that's important. Yeah. Because you don't have to go out for this. Mm-hmm. To get started, go to stitchfix.com slash weird, answer some questions about your preferred style, and your personal shopper will ship you a box of clothes, shoes, and accessories. With Stitch Fix, everyone can look their best, even if no one's able to see you because you're in quarantine. Yeah. Just because you're at home doesn't mean... You can't flex. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they have solutions for men, women, and kids all over the U.S. and now in the U.K. as well. There's no commitment required, and you only pay for what you keep. Shipping, exchanges, and returns, they're always free. Plus, the $20 styling fee is automatically applied towards anything you keep from your box. You will never have to worry about looking good again with Stitch Fix. So get started today at stitchfix.com weird, and you'll get an extra 25% off when you keep everything that's in your box. That is stitchfix.com weird. And this episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. When you use the bathroom, you always close the door behind you, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want some random passerby looking in on you. So <laughs> why? <laughs> some people do, but not most. So why would you let people look in on you when you go online? Mm-hmm. The toilet of the... <laughs> the internet's toilet. The, yeah, well, I, well, you know, you get it. You get, using the internet without ExpressVPN is like going to the bathroom and not closing the door, you fucking perv. <laughs> Did you know that your ISP knows every single website you visit? And worse, they can sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who will use your data to target you. ExpressVPN puts a stop to all of this. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so that your online activity can't be seen by anyone. ExpressVPN works on everything, phones, laptops, even routers. So everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can still be protected even if they don't have ExpressVPN. And the best part is ExpressVPN, it's literally as easy as closing the bathroom door. Yeah. You just fire up the app, Oop. click one button, and you are protected. ExpressVPN is the world's number one rated VPN by TechRadar, Wired, The Verge, and countless others. And if you're like us and believe your online activity is your business, 
Secure yourself by visiting expressvpn.com slash weekly weird today. Go to expressvpn.com slash weekly weird and you can get an extra three months for free. It's expressvpn.com slash weekly weird. We should also say if you're uh, self quarantining, uh, you can, if you don't have enough content to watch uh, in whatever location you're in, you can, uh, whoops, oh, now I'm all of a sudden I'm in Japan yeah. and I can watch all the anime Click on Netflix. Click the flag icon, you can, you can browse like you're anywhere. Yeah, you can pretend you're not in America. Yeah. Feel a little bit safer. Yeah. Anyways, on to the headlines. Yeah. Mostly, mostly COVID nineteen headlines. Yeah. Starting with mass monkey brawl highlights coronavirus effect on Thailand tourism. Yeah, they're saying that these are monkey gangs, which I don't listen. Well, they know more about it than me. They're but, like packs. Yes, but they operate like gangs. They have this. Uh, this. Uh, they have a relationship with humans. Yeah. Uh, so the problem is, is that they're, because tourism is down, humans usually either leave scraps or actually feed the monkeys. Yeah. And so there's none of that going yeah. around and people so are saying They're starving. The monkeys are starving. They don't know. They they will kill people over, for their food. Yeah, over like generations. They've forgotten like really how to take care of food for themselves. Mm-hmm. They've become highly dependent on human beings yeah. for getting fed. And now the humans are gone and they're hungry, angry, hangry. And the different families of these monkeys, they're converging on the town squares where they used to get little pieces of bread. Yeah. And they are fighting over whatever scraps they can find. It is, uh, yeah. Horrifying. Horrifying, yes. Yeah. It's, it's scarcity, it's, it really, you know, they, they say we're all like six meals away from fucking just Pure Armageddon. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I mean, monkeys, they are one of our closest relatives. Yeah. That's us in like two weeks. If we yeah. shape up. If those monkeys were carrying packs of toilet paper, they, yeah. would, just, they would look all, like all of yeah. us. There's, there's really <laughs> not much difference. No. Um, it, it was funny. Though, like they, Some local news agency in Thailand, like they tried to interview the monkeys. They oh, my like God. Going up to them, the monkeys were just like, is that food? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the food, God They're damn. fucking everywhere. I didn't realize how many monkeys are like in Thailand. They're just like, they're like pigeons. <laughs> they're fucking everywhere. Pigeons are probably pissed, too. Yeah. Probably where's, dropping dead all over New York. Where's my bread? Yeah, exactly. Sorry, we don't do that anymore. Dutch Prime Minister accidentally shakes hand immediately after warning entire country <laughs> against doing so. Uh, the people in power have been the worst examples. Like, setting the worst examples. Yeah. The t- Trump's uh, uh, national emergency thing today. I was... Uh, uh, Shaking every single one of their hands. Yeah. yeah he brought out... Except like, for the one guy who was like, hey, wait, come on. Yeah, he brought out, like, a great way to address a country worried about a disease is just bring a bunch of, like, executives from major companies out there to be like, yeah. How, how's Walgreens going to solve yeah. the problem? To basically, like, literally only cares about getting the stock market bump, and, and it worked, I guess. Yeah, but, and then he, he... Did you see that he autographed a printout of the stock yeah, market today after his Sent it to Fox News. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, every single one of those CEOs shook their hands. Oh, and he's putting his hands all over the microphone and yeah. adjusting it, and then Mike Pence comes up and puts his hand on the mic, literally watching yeah. it spread. So this, this Dutch, they're not setting an example. The Dutch prime minister, he at least, he caught himself very quickly. Yeah. And he was like, no, don't do that. Like, it was an innocent mistake. But it was very funny. He was like on this long rant about like, we have to stop shaking hands. Find yeah. something else to do. Tap elbows. Tap your feet. Give a give a nod. And then like immediately he finishes up like, all right, thanks. I, oh, shit. Fuck. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. See? Well, what at least he learned there, from his mistake, mistake. Trump, even no. after the one guy gave him the elbow bump, kept shaking hands. He, literally, I love that he literally said, I take no responsibility. Yeah. No responsibility. It's wild. Not my problem. It is fucking wild. What am I, the president or something? Wild. Wild, wild, wild. I, yeah. Like, it is, uh, it was shocking. My, my wife, who is working from home now, like a lot of people who can telecommute, and uh, I forgot that she was on, like, a, a meeting on her headset. Yeah. And uh, I was like watching this like three times throughout the whole thing. I go, no, stop. <laughs> like as she's on the phone next to me. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> I was like, he's touching people. Yeah. He's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's beautiful. Yeah. Here's an, uh, in case you were wondering how NYC strip clubs are handling the coronavirus outbreak. You can no longer motorboat my boobies. This, this whole thing reads like a fucking press release. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Our girls, they're clean. We, we scrub the whole place down twice a day. It's medical grade this, in here. It's the cleanest it's ever been in these we places. Got, we, you, you having trouble finding hand sanitizer? We got hand sanitizer here in the club. Yeah. You can only have a little bit, but we got it. <laughs> and look, everything's fine. Yeah. They, some of the girls, they like to put on a mask, but it's mostly just for fun. No one's sick. Everyone's it's like a burlesque good. show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great. Good for them. Yeah. Uh, 
That was that article was published before everything really I, hit the fan, so I don't know if the same. I do. True lo- We're spacing out the chairs at, yeah. the, at the table dance, so you can only sit uh, six feet apart. But I do love that, like literally every company, regardless of if they actually interact with customers or not, has sent out press releases yeah. onto email. Important where it's coronavirus like, update from IHOP. Y- yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or like yeah, like companies that don't even like. Uh, touch you in any way yeah. like acorns like here's how seriously we're taking yeah. check the coronavirus. your check your junk mail folder it's pretty hilarious this week yeah it's like oh cool good to know yeah thanks great <laughs> i'm so less i'm way less worried now that i know that uh <laughs> adamandeve.com cares yeah. about your safety yeah. and we're, we we're disinfecting you know we every not, dildo we're not coughing on the dildo yeah <laughs> do not believe the uh, reports uh, next headline mexicans wonder if trump's wall could stop coronavirus spreading south and they've kind of got a point. Uh, he, like he quarantined Mexico, Baja California, the state in Mexico, just below uh, like San Diego. They're like, they're freaking out because San Diego is getting a bunch of like dozens of cases, and Baja, Build the wall. Build yeah, the wall. Baja has like no confirmed cases yeah. yet, or maybe like one or two at this point. But yeah. it's like it hasn't really hit Mexico. So mm-hmm. a lot of people down there, they're, they're like joking about it, but they're also they're just like, what do we got to do to make sure people from California aren't bringing that shit here? Maybe. Close the borders, build yeah. the wall. Yeah, the wall might work out after Hold all. Hold on, what if, what if because of the coronavirus, before the election, Mexico does end up paying for that wall? Holy shit. <laughs> That's, that, that, that is, is 4D, 4D chess. chess. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Wow, Mr. President, you truly are a genius. Yeah, we salute you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese store puts curses on its in-store toilet paper to prevent theft. I was actually just thinking today about like restaurants and bars like no, like, people just, people, like people come like wait, wait, hey 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 uh, i'll hey. your hoodie <laughs> you were in there for a little while yeah heard some rustling yeah you can go in there the toilet paper's all gone hand sanitizer's gone soap's gone yeah people are taking it off the walls i mean you should the, honestly they should lock it up and make you you should have to go to you get five squares yeah you, you have to go check out uh a roll they measure it mm-hmm. and you have to bring it back you know what? Problem would be solved if everyone installed bidets, just like in Japan. Yeah. Well, some people in Japan apparently still need toilet paper, but oh, right. they just put a scary curse on it. They're like, if you steal, a uh, scary monster will come and eat you within yeah. three days. They're like, and they said the thefts have completely dropped off ever yeah. since that. Well, you know what's, it, what would be not funny but true about America installing bidets is like the way Americans treat anything that doesn't belong to them, like the hitchhiking robot, yeah. they would like see a, get a, get, sit down on a bidet for the first time and be like, wow, that was intense, but my asshole's really clean. Anyways, boom, and just fucking break yeah. it. Yeah. No. We're not good with technology. No, we, we are terrible people. We are, we are stupid brutes. Yeah. Around uh, it. Next headline, coronavirus conference get canceled because of coronavirus. That's a funny headline. Yeah, literally like a not the onion, like just written to be yeah. hilarious, even though, yes, it did actually get canceled and it was about the coronavirus. But it was it was a meeting for like the, so it was like some fucking NGO, like the American Foreign Policy Institute. No. Some, some group of people who's probably in, responsible for a genocide somewhere. Yeah. And it was like a meeting about how, how do we keep our business like up during coronavirus? Yeah. So fuck all of them and... Uh, who cares? Uh, you I know, wish they'd had the meeting. Another prediction that we made that uh, people still have time to... I, I'm, I'm not... I would never tell anyone what to invest in because I, I am not good at investing. But yeah. uh, Zoom, doing great. Uh, Joe yeah. Biden, who I hate. Joe Biden today did his, like, virtual town hall on Zoom. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. Zoom is going to, like... I, I don't hope... know how it affects the stock market, stock price of it, but, like... It's My been going wife's up. company's using it. Uh, Joe Biden's using it. It's like yeah. the biggest telecommunication software. And, I just uh, hope their servers can handle the load of I was worried every, yesterday, but every classroom in America now being on Zoom. I was worried about it yesterday, but it worked fine when we were doing the stream. So It did. Yeah. It did. Wow. Donald Trump <laughs> rages at Barack Obama for delaying coronavirus response. Yeah, it's, it's his fault somehow. I mean, yeah. yes, Donald Trump has had three and a half years to uh, improve our uh, preparedness and not in, dismantle the CDC uh, in uh, those pandemic years, yeah. task force. And he personally uh, was responsible for a bunch question. of staff cuts, including the pandemic preparedness. Thing. He also said, that's not uh, my fault either. That yeah. I didn't like, do that. Look, a lot of people, my administration things. did it. You got, you've yeah. been fired before people fire people all the time. Obama made me do it. Yeah. And then the other thing is like uh, Obama's like six month declaration on a national emergency thing, which is 
If you look at the actual timeline of it, uh, they had tests out very, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, they did uh, emergency measures within a couple weeks. They didn't do the full-on national emergency thing. But it didn't get to that. It was uh, it was a different yeah. disease. Like, it's kind of apples and oranges with it. But yeah. he, they, they definitely, it, it seems like their response was at least... Uh, on oh, par with coherence. Coherence. Yeah, yeah just a normal like government this. response to something. Yeah, I think the, there was, uh, uh, I'm going to get this wrong, but it was early January when he was first briefed on it. So a long time ago. Well, no, that, that CDC phone call where they said, I don't know, a million people might die. That was like mid-February where they were like openly talking about that. Yeah. And so this is, they, they knew. They all fucking knew. Yeah. At the end of the episode, I have the, the timeline of quotes. I can pull it up and yeah. read it. It's, uh, it's okay. a doozy. Yeah. All right. So no more crunch. We got some normal headlines for you. To, oh, to, damn it. Tune down. For the rest of the show. Uh, here's a good one. A good, fun, non-terrifying uh, headline. Florida seventh grader sends 41 to hospital when he mistakes pepper spray for body spray. Well, if that's true, then it probably hurt him the most. Probably did. But no. it's like all these little kids, they... In the locker room, they like attacking each other with axe. Yeah. No, we used to and, uh, back because it was it, like when I was in high school, maybe like late middle school was when they first came out with that like yeah the type of axe stuff or like back then it was the just like the old spice or whatever. But we used to fucking bash the tops so that yeah. it would be stuck open and then throw it like a grenade. Oh my god! But we were terrible kids. Well, it sounds like something like that happened, except it was pepper spray. Whoops. <laughs> so, Oops. Uh, Oops, everyone's in the hospital. Yeah, but... In misery. Fun times. Yeah. Exciting. Well, actually, he helped everyone because they probably had to close down that uh, gym bathroom or whatever. Yeah, they probably and, had uh, to clean everything off. There it's, you go. It's probably spotless. How many lives did that kid save, actually? Yeah. Hero. Yeah. Speaking of schools, student finds cop's gun in bathroom in middle of school day. <laughs> well, I'm just going to set this right here while I... <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, where's my gun? Yeah. So, I mean, this is something I would assume happens probably a lot more. Yeah. But uh, but the cop, like, pressures the kid not to tell him anyone? Don't fucking tell anyone. Don't fucking tell anyone. I'll fucking kill you. But, uh, yeah. I'll kill your whole fucking family. That's cool. And we should, we should give all teachers guns so that they can all leave them unattended in the bathroom when they go and take a big old midday shit. Yeah. Because if, a cop, can, if a cop can lose it, a teacher definitely oh, can. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Moving on, polite burger shook homeowner's hand and closed window on his way out, police said. Well, not very polite because you can't shake hands right now. Yeah, that burglar may have given the homeowner coronavirus. Also, it's, like, it's the burglar lied. He's like, uh, I'm actually like on the run from the police. I don't, I'm not trying to harm you. I'm just hiding out here for a second. None of that was true. He was literally trying to burglarize the place, but he got caught and he's like, uh, I didn't take anything. Uh, look, everything's cool. I'm, not, yeah, I'm just going to see myself out. Mm hmm. But uh, it was worth a try. Yeah. I mean, mean it's better to be nice, I he, guess. He de-escalated the situation. Mm -hmm. so, so there you go. Yeah. More burglars should take note. <laughs> yeah. And final headline. Psych evaluation ordered for man who sought trial by combat in Iowa. Talked about that a few months back. But uh, yeah, custody battle. The dad is uh, representing himself and he invoked uh, trial by combat. Uh, against his ex-wife. The psych evaluation would be a good outcome for him if it was like a murder trial or something, because then he'd be like not guilty by ruling of insanity. Yeah, he's so this kinda, is just a custody, custody battle. So kind of uh, not in a good position either way. Didn't set himself up. Very also, well. apparently after that trial by combat thing, he lost all visitation. Like the judge immediately was of just like, "Of course, uh, we need to rethink this whole thing for uh, now." It was, it was a goof. For now, no children for you. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Don't invoke trial by combat in a trial. It uh, sounds like it can really blow up in your face, especially yeah. when uh, custody of your children is involved. So there's that. Uh, here's the quotes starting on February or January 22nd. For These are actual Trump quotes. Okay. Uh, this is descending until now. So starting in January until now. Okay. We have it totally under control. It's one person coming from China. It's going to be just fine. We pretty much shut it down going in from China. The coronavirus is very much under control in the USA. Stock market's starting to look very good to me. CDC and my administration are doing a great job of handling the coronavirus. I think that's a problem that's going to go away. They have studied it. They know very much. In fact, we are very close to a vaccine. The 15 cases in the United States within a couple of days is going to go down to close to zero. We're going very substantially down, not up. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. We're ordering a lot of supplies. We're ordering a lot of... Uh, Elements that, frankly, we wouldn't be ordering unless it was something like this. But we're ordering a lot of different elements of medical. 
What? That was February 28th. March, then now we're in March, March 2nd. You take a solid flu vaccine, you don't think that could have an impact or much of an impact on Corona? Uh, a lot of things are happening. A lot of very exciting things are happening and they're happening very rapidly. If we have thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that get better just by, you know, sitting around and even going to work, some of them go to work, but they get better. March 5th, the next day. I never said people that are feeling sick should go to work. Uh, March 6th. I think we're doing a really good job in this country at keeping it down. A tremendous job at keeping it down. Anybody right now and yesterday, anybody that needs a test gets a test. They're there. And the tests are beautiful. The <laughs> tests are all perfect, like the letter was perfect. The transcription was perfect, right? This was not as perfect as that, but pretty good. What the fuck? Same day. I like this stuff. I really get it. People are surprised that I understand it. Every one of these doctors said, how do you know so much about this? Maybe I have a natural ability. Maybe I should have done that instead of running for president. Same day. I don't need to have the numbers double because of one ship that wasn't our fault. Uh, next day, we hold tremendous rallies. I'm not concerned at all. We have a perfectly coordinated and fine-tuned plan at the White House for our attack on coronavirus. March 9th. This blindsided the world. Uh, our coronavirus team has been doing a very great job. Even Democrat governors have been very complimentary. I am fully prepared to use the full power of federal government to deal with the current challenge of coronavirus. 108 countries are dealing with the coronavirus problem, some of which we are helping. To this point, and because we have had a very strong border policy, we have had 40 deaths related to coronavirus. If we had weak or open borders, that number would be many times higher. Today, I am declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. And then also today, no, I don't take responsibility at all because we were given a set of circumstances, given rules, regulations, and specifications from a different time. It wasn't meant for this kind of event with the kind of numbers that we're talking about now. We're so in literally, good hands. literally started to we at January twenty second. We have it totally under control. Yeah, I guess that that was wrong. Yeah. Wow. Oh, someone just said that uh, they got free Pornhub by setting their VPN to Italy. Yeah, they're giving free Pornhub to everyone in Italy. We didn't tell you what to do though. You, you didn't hear it here. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Uh, if you want just two straight hours of us shooting the shit about this coronavirus stuff, uh, the most recent episode of News Dump was a live stream. So check that out. That'll get you some time. And uh, also uh, our most recent episode of Tech News Day, which is more coronavirus stuff. It's all corona, all the time. Yeah. So crack Thanks. open a corona. Yeah. And my, 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 my corona. corona. Not your corona. That's because I'm not going to give it to you because I'm going to self-quarantine. Yep. Uh, thanks to our Patreon supporters and our uh, YouTube members mm -hmm. and people who sent us super chats and our sponsors uh, because every episode is demonetized because uh, YouTube considers coronavirus a mass casualty event, which is not technically wrong, but also, I think, defined wrong on their settings. So yeah. thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. We'll see you next time. Bye.